It just is. Well, what do you say? Well, you know, but and you and I, now we've seen also the black people and Hispanic people, Latinx people, and and Jewish people who voted for Trump. I well, mean, white supremacy is not just supported by white people. Right. Uh, I mean, there's there's a number of people. The attorney general in Kentucky. Oh my lord, that guy is like, oh, right. Help me. Know. Help I me, I, God. I, first, I saw him. I remember I saw a picture of him. I was like, oh, that's a handsome man. You know, I like this brother. And then I was like, oh, that's the attorney general for Kentucky. Oh. And then, oh, he's in charge of the Breonna Taylor case. Oh, he's not going to file any charges. Oh, he's going to seal grand jury testimony. And he, with, and he withheld? Release. He withheld evidence? Yeah. Yeah. He withheld evidence. Oh, he spoke at the RNC convention. Oh, he's an unabashed Trump supporter. And I was like, damn, damn, damn. I can't, I can't rock with him. So I can't we shouldn't be surprised anymore. More and more people are becoming comfortable. Um, you know, white supremacy being the closer you are to whiteness in this country, in this society, the easier it is for you to survive because you are not rocking the boat. You're maintaining the power system. So, we shouldn't be surprised that as more people of color, BIPOC people, Jewish people, LGBTQ people, who are able to curry favor, gain privilege, become comfortable, then yeah, they're, they're going to support white supremacy and they're going to um, be okay with it because they have privilege and comfort within the system and they don't want to jeopardize that. And they are okay with excusing other things because of where they are. And we've seen it with some hip hop stars as well um yeah so, so little, little little wayne he kind of wasn't like people said i was watching 50 cent on um one, one of the shows and he said he knows little wayne got paid you know that, that, yeah like that, half a million no excuse me yeah. was it uh half a million right i don't know they offered it he sent half a million and he said no yeah i think it was half a million yeah that they offered them so um can you imagine doing that i mean i'm not gonna lie i mean i would love to have half a million i'm sure i'll get me there on too. my own very quickly but can you imagine, how do you look at yourself in the mirror once you do that? How do you- I don't know. I mean, I yeah. couldn't, I, I, don't, I don't, I think even if a black person or a BIPOC person or anybody really, uh, I think I'd have a hard time walking down the street. Yeah, well, <laughs> I have a, a, hard... a little Wayne's case, he might be just so gone on, you know, lean on cough medicine and, and uh, you know, that other stuff and, and alcohol that for him, it's like, I don't know. I, I just couldn't do it. And I, I remember joking with a friend when I was in law school that there's a lot of money to be made being a uh, blank conservative, queer conservative, black conservative, yeah, Latino conservative. But I'm, I'm never going to be there. Um, I think I told you when I came out, my mom asked me, the first thing she asked me <laughs> when she finally got settled with it, because it took her a little minute, but when she finally got settled with it, she said, does this mean that you're Republican? I'm like, well, mom, why is being gay make you Republican? She said, well, are you Republican? I'm like, no, I'm not necessarily always enamored with the Democrats, but I'm not Republican. She said, okay, cool. She said, as long as you're not Republican, I am cool. We can, you know, when you bring them guy home, that's what she said, literally. I kid you not. So. Yeah, yeah. well, cause, but now there are, you know, there was a whole gay Republican organization. I hope, I don't know. They're they still there, law cabin Republicans. Yeah. They still exist. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. and then they had those two clowns, Diamond and Silk. You seen them? Oh yeah, I've black seen them women. Too. You know, they they're asking them for their opinions. I mean, these two ignorant women, but I, I don't know if they're really the ignorant. Sure. But I don't know if they're, they they add, I don't know, you know, how much of an act. And then, like in the Jewish community, you know, you got Sheldon Adelson, and then you have like the really uh, some some of the very orthodox Jews, and they support Trump, one, Israel, two, the whole religion thing, and three, so, you know, you don't have to wear a mask in, during COVID and you can still have like your, you know, your actions and activities, but, but, and then you have somebody like George Soros, who's a billionaire, I think, is he a billionaire? But who's, who's very progressive, you know, he supports all, like their, you know, all the, um, the progressive causes. And so as a result, you have like these really right-wing Jewish people coming out against George Soros, along with everybody else coming out against George Soros, like saying that George Soros, George Soros this one man is funding Black Lives Matter 
they said that, you know, somebody told me that George Soros and the Rothschilds, so you know it's an anti-Semitic thing since the Rothschilds are just like split up all over the place. There's no like Rothschilds anymore. Um, that they were supporting 